Welcome to All Saints Catholic School Key Stage 4 Subject Information Presentation. So you will either be completing the foundation paper or the higher paper. The foundation scores grades 1 to 5, whereas the higher paper scores grades 4 to 9. Foundation is easier as there are less topics on it. However, for both foundation and higher, you'll be completing three papers. So each paper is 80 marks and is an hour and 30 minutes long. And each paper is equally weighted. So it means it's a third of the GCSE. There are no set topics for each paper. So it means that any topic could come up in any paper. So there are about 200 topics in GCSE math. You would have come across most of them before and um, so we look at them in more depth at GCSE and also you learn new concepts but here you can see how the papers are broken down in foundation and higher so for foundation there are more number and ratio questions um, which are usually slightly easier topics um, and they are half the paper whereas higher has a larger focus on algebra and more questions on geometry and there are crossover topics, so there are grades four and five on both high and foundation. And you tend to see that the last questions on the foundation paper are usually the first questions on the higher paper. For assessments, you will have an assessment at the end of each half term. In year 10, we assess you on the topics that you've covered for that term and previous terms. Um, and these will usually be one hour long. For year 11, we give you exam papers and these last an hour and 30 minutes. And these assessments in both year 10 and 11 will be a mixture of non-calculator and calculator assessments. And you will be told in advance. So at GCSE, we like to start the lesson with the take 10 and this, these are our five a day. These consist of five questions from a range of topics that you've previously learned so that we can continuously recap over topics. At the top right corner, you can see it says foundation, so these will be suited to your level. On the right hand side, you can see some screenshots of a lesson. This is a trigonometry lesson. And here we go over new terminology, also ratios and also example questions of the topic. Throughout the lesson, you'll be asked to do an activity or a task on that topic. And then we like to end our GCSE lessons with a problem solving exam style question to help you consolidate your learning from that lesson. Here are some quotes from students that have done GCSE math that I thought I'd share with you. So using different methods, this is a key thing in maths because there are numerous methods in different topics and it doesn't mean that one is correct. You should always check with your teacher as you may find a method easier than another method that someone else is using in the class. So please do check with your teacher. Now I've practiced this, I really understand how to factorize a quadratic. The main thing in maths is to keep practicing. The more you practice, the better you'd understand a topic. It's not as hard as I thought it would be. I do find that students have a wall up when learning maths and they say, oh, I'm not good at it or this is too hard for me before they've even attempted it. Never go into a maths lesson thinking you can't do it because you can always do it. You've just got to have an open mind and try your hardest because it's not as hard as you really think it is. I need GCSE maths for the job I want to do. So when you're looking at future careers, some of you might not know what you want to do, but some of you do. You should always look at what you need. And majority of jobs will say GCSE is a requirement. So GCSE maths is a requirement for most careers. A lot of students go, oh, well, I don't need it for this university. But what they don't realise is when they leave university and apply for jobs, they will need a, a GCSE in English and maths, regardless of what area they are going into. A grade four is currently a pass and a grade five is considered a high pass. Now, for those of you that are looking at doing A-level maths and potentially a maths degree, I know that is quite far into the future, but some of you may have decided. I just thought I'd share with you some of the jobs that directly were linked with a degree and where it would be useful 
with a maths degree. And if you would like to look into these further, please look at the link below or you can contact me, Ms Head, for further information. So I thought I'd share with you some of our favourite resources that we use in the department for GCSE maths. So please have a look at them if you are interested in looking at the course before we start it in September. If you do have any concerns or questions, please don't hesitate to contact me.